my idea is to use the centre piece or the post of one of these pot rivets and do a back to back connector from here hopefully through the pot rivet to here and slide the case on. So I'm guessing we don't want it too close. So in my original building I put an Anderson power pole here directly onto the crimp but I've decided that uh, for storage in a bag or whatever having that sticking out sideways rigid is really not uh, very useful so I have some uh, probably uh, one mil, one and a half mil earth wire and I'm going to a bit flexible from that crimp so the salt the wire will be soldered into the crimp it'll be short maybe one inch long one and a half inches long um, and the other end into an Anderson power pole crimp the reason being is that it can lay flat when it's packed and it also can move around a little bit so uh, let's uh, sort that out first thing we're going to have to do is um, take the original one off so I'm just simply going to melt the solder and, and pull the crimp off at least that's the plan anyway find somewhere holding it um, normally I use something sprung loaded right what can I use spring loaded bear with me a second Um, cable strippers there. Oh, they're adequate. Uh, and as normal, when I sold I've got a magnified headset on. Uh, 
two reasons. One, it keeps the smoke out of my eyes, and the second, it makes me see uh, a lot clearer in the scheme of things. Okay, so we're ready to go. Clean tip. A little bit of solder on it to help transfer the heat out of the tip into the crimp. I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to do this without actually removing the uh, the crimp from the side of the uh, side of the antenna. That's the first issue. It's falling off. Yep. It's coming out. It's got to, got to obviously uh, watch your fingers don't get burnt. How can I do this? Yeah, that soldier's bowing down. There we go, she's off. So, uh, as I don't have a tool for removing or extracting the pin out of that, it's garbage. Right, so uh, next thing is we're going to mock up a little piece of cable to go in there. And she goes. So there we are, that's exactly what I want. Some uh, movement there for it to lay flat and not, not be rigid out the side. So it won't put any undue strain on here um, with movement. Perfect. So... I'll leave the soldering iron on just for a second so we can come back to that. Now we've worked out from uh, ESNEC that uh, we need a total of 4.56 metres for, for the radials and it's going to be two. So the typical operation I'm kind of guesstimating will be on a surface like a picnic table. A slight drop to the floor as it goes away and uh, a radio a radial going out in one direction a radial going in the exact opposite direction and uh, if they're both 4.56 meters it's resonance with the vertical part of the antenna and the radiation pattern is omnidirectional if you use only in one direction it's not far off of omni um, but not total. So uh, that's what we're going to do, 4.56 metres. So we need a measuring stick, I'm guessing. So excuse me a second. Right, here we are again. I have a rule here, typically what I do is uh, I put some kind of a mark along the bench surface to, to work out uh, what one metre is and then we'll go from there. So where I'm placing this yellow cable here, oh, no. let's, not go there. let's just go with the points. There, that's one, the one meter mark, and we want 4.56 meters. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the difference uh, of that short piece there. So, 4.56. Let's leave that measuring mark there, actually. 
together. These are beautiful strippers by the way, vice grips. They uh, really are. These were good in their day but they wear out. Right. So here these are cut nice. They're going to be uh, twisted slightly together. enough that I can fold them back and they stay in the one piece and then they fit more snugly into the crimp there. Right so she's in. Same thing, I'm going to crimp her up. What I actually do there is I use the uh, 30 amp which is slightly uh, bigger just to close it down and if it's not tight enough I'll pinch it up with the 15 amp not really sure if that's the correct thing to do uh, these say 30 amp but it seems that when you use the 30 amp crimp unless you use such thick wire going into it uh, you, you need to crimp it down smaller. But that on the uh, 15 amp setting is very, very tight and snug. You're not going to pull that out. It's more than adequate to go into the uh, shell. Now I know that uh, this is very flexible. I'm not going to be able to push that in. So my old trick uh, I need is just a small flat blade screwdriver. This time, uh, I'm also going to work out what way around that goes in there. Partially insert it and locate it. It's a little bit fiddly what we do here. And I place the uh, tip of the screwdriver onto the pin, onto the grip pin, and push down. And we should hear it go and click. as if you can pull it back out again. No, I can't, so that's connected. So there we have it. So there's the, um, the uh, Comet Antenna HFJ 350M and interchangeable radials. These are for 20 meters. You literally just plug it in on the Anderson power pole there. You're on the air. You want to change bands then you have another set pre-prepared plug them in and you're on the other band what you could do uh, is at the far end of this is chop if you you know if you've done your experimentation is chop at the far end where it would be for say 17 meters and then just have a short extension for 20 meters then you'd only be carrying one set of these around. But, uh, for now I'm just going to uh, have a practice on 20 and we'll take it from there. So that's the end of uh, today's assembly. So this video, if you like it, our video, comment down below a thumbs up. Thanks for watching VA3SII. Bye.